What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Culture War Vultures on VPS, Vegas Profile Stories. Always with my man, Gangish, from at Gangish. And we're here to bring you all the idiocracies in the United States today. Pretty much absurd stuff. We, we, we look for absurd stuff. And then we the talk worst. About it. Yeah, There's a there's lot a, of it. There's a lot of it these days. Uh, there's never a shortage of what seems to be the absurd. And right now we are dealing with a man who is called the punt God. They call this man the punt God, Jesus. Jesus incarnate uh, in his foot. Right? Yeah. I've seen the man. I've seen the man place the ball within the five yard line from the the 20 or something like that. I it's mean, a dying art. He's nuts. It's nuts. There's just people. People just can't do that because they're not built like that. Well, it's that's just the thing. Everybody thinks that punting it far means something. He hangs it up in the air for long enough for his gunners is what they're called to get down the field. So that they're there before the guy catches the ball. So he's hanging it sometimes six, six and a half seconds in the air so that his people, like, and he's placing it pinpoint where he wants it with the spin that he wants. It's insane. Well, this, uh, this young man has uh, been going to college, did everything that he was supposed to do. Um, he, he, he got drafted. I believe they offered him, they offered him something nice, fresh out of college for a, for a, what you call for a kicker, something like $4 million contract or something, which yeah. is a really nice fat contract for a rookie kicker. Uh, and everything was going great. And then these charges, uh, come up, these, uh, um, assault charges of the, uh, of the, the grape kind of the grape flavor. Um, right. Yeah. And you, you never want a discount. When a woman says that something's happened to her, because it's the most horrible thing in the world, right? You never, anybody who does that is a piece of garbage in my book, and uh, they don't deserve to live. But then there's the other side of it. What happens when a woman claims that it happened to somebody who's famous, but it didn't really happen? And how do we prove it? Exactly. He's lucky. So what had come out? To, to basically say that this man did not do this is there was a video showing that he had left the party an hour before she claims that it happened. Okay. What if that video wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think about that a lot these days. We think about the government watching us, but in many ways, uh, these technology actually can protect, can protect things in many ways. Um, but... Okay, so she made the accusation, right? It pretty much ruined this guy. What is he signed to the bills? He was signed to the bills, right? Yes. And they nixed that because of the because of the accusations, right? They nixed that. And now what? Now now the Jets are looking at him. Now he's being looked at by the Jets. The good thing is he has people like Pat McAfee that are behind him and and pushing his name back into the media basically because without those people he, he would have lost everything. He would have lost all of it. And for what? Well, let's, uh, I, I want to go over to some of these news stories. Cause I think it's funny. Uh, I, I, there's some spin going on here, right? There's some spin. So let's go look at this, uh, right here. The New York times reporting, um, San Diego prosecutors declined to bring charges, bring a criminal case against the former NFL punter Matt Ariza on his former San Diego State football teammates who were accused in a lawsuit of grape in a 17 of a 17 year old in October of 2021. Now, that what they say, what the, everywhere in these articles highlights is that there is a civil suit coming. No matter what, there's a civil suit coming. They've already moved on. They said, okay, we didn't get him here. They're moving on to the next and saying, uh, what you call, how are we going to get him civilly? Um, whereas the New York Post isn't. The New York Post isn't acting like this. The New York Post is saying, oh, well, there's, uh, uh, um, he's been cleared, right? They're highlighting the fact that the man has been cleared. This is a good thing. Da, 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 da. Whereas the media has literally just pivoted from, oh, okay, nothing criminal, civil. Right. No, right. Which, which is a scary prospect in its own right. 
you can, OJ won the case. OJ did not go to jail for the rest of his life. But OJ had to pay more money than he will ever make in his life to the family because he lost the civil case. And the, the prosecutor's uh, responsibility of proof, the burden of proof, is so much lower. It's not without the shadow of a doubt. It is, is it possible or even plausible that this happened? And if it did, you award them the money. I think it's called preponderance of evidence. Yes. And the definition of preponderance of evidence is 5149. Right. You, yeah. So you only have to win half the jury. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Uh, so do you think that the, that's what this woman's setting up for? Because I, she's not going to let it go. The man's going to the NFL. She's got a cash cow. Right? She's not going to let this lawsuit go. At the very least, he's going to settle out of court. Probably. Because he's just going to want to get on with his life. What do you think? I think <clears throat> he's going to end up throwing $50,000 at her and she's going to go away. Because that's not very much. It's not very much. You're right. But you have to look at it like, she, does she really want to go through this? And the video that we are going to play here in a minute be shown to the jurors that is a that. gnarly video <laughs> and a and i also want to say that. that's my kind of girl but at the same well not not the very end part but you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah <laughs> it's not going to be a good look when that gets introduced in the jury nasty woman whoo she yeah she's a dirty little bird okay Let's see. Liana, Liana Walker. I probably shouldn't even be saying her name. Hold on. I busted for saying her name. Liana Walker. La 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 la. Mm. I got you. Exposed. <laughs> exposed. <laughs> Super exposed. Oh, damn it. I hate when I get exposed. It's okay. I've been exposed like four times already. Yeah. It's, it's some of my favorite stuff to watch. They're never impressed when you're exposed. No. You know what I mean? No, uh, listen, you're you're nothing on YouTube until somebody's at least exposed you about three or four times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go, fellas. What do you say, ladies and ladies with dicks? Here we go. All right. She looks like a trooper. Now, this is the girl who, at 17 so years old, says book. says that he did this to her. Uh, she said she was a pure, nice young girl. She was at a party, and this professional punter for the, for the bills uh, fed her grapes. And let's listen to her less than a year later talking to some vlogger. She, she, the look on her face says that she'll let me put it in her butt. Oh, that's, that's why I said she's my kind of girl. Like a hundred percent. Like she yeah. didn't even think about it. Yeah. My body counts over 20. I'm only 18. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. My ball first body is like 15. Like how old were you? 14. I'm only 18. Over 20? I mean, I ate somebody's ass before, but that's only because they wanted it. I'm here. I'm here. Well, shit. Keep it classy, San Diego. That's all they needed, huh? That's all they need. <laughs> that's, that's, all got, the, that's, that's all the jury. That's why you got acquitted? No, no, no. No, no. That came out, and everybody's like, oh, okay, she's a party girl, right? Yeah. The footage came out of him actually leaving the party an hour before she said it happened. Oh. That's why he was acquitted. Or that's okay. why the charges were dropped. Okay, but she was she she was already exposed as a city girl. Yeah, and then, and then he came through with the concrete proof, saying I already left, and so now where does this leave her? I mean, she's obviously still suing, but I but mean, does this mean does does uh, does the do the facts prove that she lied? And does my microphone sound better? I'm gonna start holding it like this, like a rock star. Fuck it. So. 
here's the thing. Women of the night can be fed grapes too, bro. You know, like just because you're promiscuous does not give any dude the right to, to, to do that. But he wasn't there first of all. And then you see this other side of her when she's saying she's a, a, you know, pure, nice Mormon girl. And then you find out that she's completely Jack Mormon. And, nope. and was was Jack. anybody really convinced that that was a nice Mormon girl? I'd marry her. I probably would too, but I'm not silly. I know it'd fall apart. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'd have a blast for the few years, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a good. Yeah, time. I like I like me a girl that's that's got a little slut in her. Yeah, she yeah. would um she'd ruin my life, but I'd have fun. Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, today we're going to look at a case of NFL punter that was falsely accused of SA and had his whole life implode. You know, he, got, he got kicked off the bills, you know, lost all of his contracts and everything, and it just came out recently that all those charges were false. Yes, guys, you heard that right. So guys, I have a news clip here. And then an article. So we're going to jump into this, guys. But before we do, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It helps keep this channel going. Hit the notification bell, guys. And check the community tab for the lives. And, guys, please be careful. Because this could happen to any of us. Okay? If you're at the gym, if you're at work, whatever, keep your head down. Mind your own damn business, guys. Because this, this could happen to, to any of us. All right, guys. So let's just jump into this. Former San Diego State and Buffalo Bills punter Matt Ariza says his life is on hold after allegations of rape and a civil lawsuit was filed against him. Ariza has always denied his involvement in that alleged rape at a 2021 party. And now new evidence from prosecutors show he left the party an hour before the assault happened. Zara Barker with our San Diego affiliate spoke with him one on one. My name will never be the same. Former SDSU and Buffalo Hills punter Matt Ariza speaking out for the first time after allegations of rape and a civil lawsuit ended his short stint in the NFL. Why are you choosing now to speak out? Because now people don't just have to believe me at my word. There's, there's a mountain of evidence behind what I'm saying. That, that supports my innocence. Ariza has denied allegations. He was involved in an alleged rape at a party in October of 2021, but has admitted to having consensual sex with the accuser. So this happened in 2021, guys, and it's 2023. And he hasn't been able to play or, or have income or anything for that whole time. Yep. Think about how crazy that is and all the mountains of evidence that it took to... Um, for him, for his word to count as much as hers, if not more. Think about. Do you know how hard it is to get a district attorney to, to drop? That night in October of 2021. What's up, brother? You, do you know how hard it is to get a district attorney to, to drop a case? One of these. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to sue this girl. Well, like I said, in the news media, they've already moved on to okay. Well, what about the civil case? But I think that. They may have jumped the shark on that one. If if I was him, he seems uh, confident in what he's talking about. I'd go after I the would. civil guys. The the thing is that the civil case is what is what's been keeping him from actually like being signed to teams. The, the civil case is what got him fired because they were still doing the investigation, and she jumped the shark with the civil case. And when they released the details of the civil case. They, she said that he did everything short of crucifying her in, in there. So all those details came out as public record that, that she was saying, and then he's been hamstrung by the civil case. So um, so until that, n now that this civil case is being taken care of, they're showing, hey, none of this was actually true. But everyone thinks that it was a a, a criminal case. That's, that's an old, oh, no, they didn't even press charges. So they think never, about how crazy. They never oh. press charges. No, the 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 DA did an investigation and said there's no cause to press charges, char the charges. But they kept the civil case going anyways. So I would sue her. I would sue her lawyer. I would sue the Bills for wrongful determination, and I would sue all these magazines that were throwing my name out there too. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> One. Would you do anything different? 
<laughs> yeah, I, would, I would stay home, watch TV. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. Guys, and it's sad that we have to be this way. It's sad, guys. But just like when when I make the videos about ignoring women at, at work, guys, you have to just stay home and play Xbox. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And it sounds crazy, but this is what's out there. Yeah, uh, pretty much anything to avoid that party. District attorney records obtained last week say Ariza left the party an hour before the alleged rape happened. Prosecutors say video shows a sexual incident involving the accuser and multiple men, but say Ariza was not in any of the videos. Now he wants his name cleared. But I'm grateful that, that all this evidence has come out and that the investigation was thorough and that it just completely shatters the story that was originally told. A civil lawsuit against Ariza is still working its way through the legal system. It's been a slow process. It's a rare thing for someone's life to be basically held hostage by a civil lawsuit. For most people, they can continue going to their job, they can continue with their day-to-day -day life. Uh, but for me, that hasn't been the case. I have basically been at home, unemployed, unable to find work. Um, it's just completely put my life on hold. What's next for you? I'm waiting on a call any moment. My agent's been talking to a couple NFL teams, and uh, you don't get much of a warning when you get a tryout. So you, you have to stay ready. Uh, I guess keep the bags packed and uh, just be ready to go out and perform. I have a question. Did she only name Matt Ariza in this civil suit, or did she name everybody? Because obviously it sounds like it was a, a more than one guy, or, or did she just I sue think, him because I he think. went to the NFL? Yeah, that's what it sounds sounds like because it was him and two of his teammates from U uh, from UC San Diego or San Diego State whatever in the criminal case. But it's funny that it only his name was on the civil case though, because specifically right. he's on the civil case. Hmm, funny how that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah wow. The NFL player. Yeah, because listen, I mean, you you don't want to discount. That, that that happens all the time. It's yeah, yeah. Are out there. And this makes it harder. So many people lie. Like but, there was the there was the woman in England that that got caught lying on like seven guys in a row before she yeah, finally got caught. She was the one that doing, that beat herself up with the. She took like a like a a pool ball or a hammer and like beat herself up. And the and she got nine years. And I said, this is making it harder for people that actually happens to, to that's come it. forward. There, you know? that's it. And and it's the same thing with other things too, like these uh, Jesse well, Smollier. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh -huh. that's you're that's hurting actual victims by doing this because yep. now people like like we are right now are saying this chick lied. There's proof that she lied. What the fuck, you know? Yep. Yep.